Hi guys. All right. So today I'm going to show you something a little bit different, something outside of my element, something I've never tried before. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, it is a Dutch pour, but it's on a dry surface. And um, so you'll see it uh, grow into something um, and it's beautiful, but then I really change it up at the end. And uh, I love how it turned out. Uh, my intentions for the uh, dried results uh, are a little bit different. So I hope you guys like it. Um, it makes me nervous when I try things that are completely outside of the norm. Um, they'll either get a good review or it'll get a mixed review. So I'm hoping that it gets something great because the end result I think is just beautiful. Um, so you'll see the dried results at the end of this video and uh, be sure to check out uh, Gina DeLuca, Mina Villegas and Massey Art Studios today. They were prior to my premiere so please check them out. I'll link them below and then coming up next after my video is Fiona Art live at four o'clock Eastern Standard Time and her link to her channel will be below as well. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and uh, I look forward to hearing what you think. Bye. Good morning. Okay, today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm taking the Golden's Iridescent Fine in fluid and I'm just squeezing it onto the canvas. And I'm gonna grab a brush and I'm going to brush it in. I'll use the leftover to coat the edges. And note to self, um, the fluid, <laughs> I guess you don't have to use so much. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, a different camera angle. And um, so what I wanna do is this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this base is again, the Iridescent Gold Fine by Golden. I've also, um, so I've mixed up some of that. Anthroquinone Blue by Golden. These are their fluid acrylics and the consistency runs right off of the little stir stick. And what I've mixed it with is Mix Thin. Um, so we're gonna see how it does. 
uh, same same ratio, seven to one. Um, I've also mixed up some Amsterdam titanium white acrylic, seven to one also, and this is the consistency. So it did not thicken up, which I thought it would, but it did not. So we are going to move those out of the way. I'm gonna put down a little bit of paper towel because this might get messy, I don't know. Um, so I'd rather be safe than sorry than get paint everywhere in the kitchen. And let's see here. There we go. I'm just gonna tuck it in over here so it doesn't blow away when I use the hair dryer. And I wanna see how this does um, with a Dutch pour. I'm not good with Dutch pours. I have not done enough of with Dutch pours to really have it work appropriately half the time. Um, I also have a cup of, a small cup, a three ounce cup of the mix thin, uh, just in case, I mean, it dries clear. So, you know, if I pour it on here to start, maybe it'll do something, maybe not, maybe I don't need to use it. Um, but yeah, so we are going to The first one down. No white. My gold. And I think I want to do one more layer of the blue. Now, my base coat is tacky just a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just move these out of the way and see what kind of disaster I can create. Uh, <laughs> I guess I've not really done these very often at all. So we will see. Um, cool and... <laughs> um, <laughs> well, this is fun. <laughs> so I think what I'll do, and I'm wondering if I have my straw and I don't. So Sort of like the splatter, sort of cool. And let's get some of the gold in here. I think my hair dryer has too much power. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, so it was right behind me the whole time. Now we're going to come over here and blow it out on this side. Like I said, this is not my, my thing, so... So you gotta think about it, it's like,
I'm convinced my hair dryer has way too much high power and then the lower setting isn't strong enough to really do anything but move it around a little bit. Got some really cool areas. Maybe it's the high flow bit that, or the fluid that I use that just doesn't work well. Oh no. Let's see here. I actually don't mind the splatter. I actually like that a lot. play around with this and we'll be back to show the results. Okay, I've been adding areas of white and then of the blue. I'm blowing it out with um, my little flexible tubing that I have. Uh, so I'm adding the anthraquinone blue to add some depth and I hope it's working because it looks a bit different than it did, which is nice. So I'm going to come in. Because the paints, because they're, I don't know why, mixed a bit. Maybe I, I think it's because of the high power of the, the blow dryer. And so, so we're just going to keep playing around with it. I'll blow out this area over here and we'll let it rest and see how it goes um, when it dries. I think it's interesting though. Okay, so um, I didn't like it. <laughs> And what I'm doing now is just spraying all the paint and everything down. And I might actually just bring it back up for a second because I want to do a little more in here. Okay. 
because I want to get more of this going downwards because I actually really love what it's doing. And in order to do that, we gotta add more paint to what's going on and add just a smidge of high flow because I put some high flow on it before I started spraying it down and this is my end result. And then I got frustrated with it, so now I'm just spraying it off. And try to blend it just a little bit. And then I'm going to spray it again because I don't want it all just running off of it like it was. So I'm really digging what's going on. And uh, it's not an effect I thought would happen, but these lines, they're sort of dimensional and I'm really loving what they're doing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop here and I love the splatters up here. So I'm gonna leave those also. And uh, I'm going to do some, once this is dry, some of PBO's um, mirror effects leafing on it. And I think it'll be really, really cool. Do some striations up in here um, and go from there. So let me bring you guys in so that you can see what a mess this might be. <laughs> okay, here we are. Um, I'm sure Nobody really understands where I'm going with this piece just yet, but I'm hoping that you will see what I see in the long run. Um, so I'm going to let this one dry and we will be back to revisit it with some of Pebio's mirror effects foil. All right. Love, I love, 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 love the iridescence of the gold. Ah, I wish it would show up. But, and one of my favorite areas is this area in here. So, looks like things are either dropping or if you come from this side, it looks like cliffs, um, underwater cliffs. I don't know, we'll see. All right, bye guys. So I'm right-handed and I've put you guys on the left-hand side. I'm just gonna come in with um, some of PBO's uh, gilding paste. And uh, once it's set to go, then, so this is the PBO gilding paste. And then um, it's actually a very fluid mixation and it brushes on and then you wait for it to get tacky. And then after that, you come in with the uh, PBO mirror effects gold. So I'm going to add, um, striations of this, not a whole lot of it. And I really, really love how this is. I also have, um, a little bit of, uh, Golden's iridescent fine in here and a brush and then also the anthroquinone blue. I'm not going to need much. Um, but I absolutely love how this piece turned out. So let me see if I can get you guys in view. So this is the final result. I love it. It's gonna go in a um, diamond 
um, hanging orientation. And I just love these splatters up at the top. I just think they're lots of fun. So because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna keep you guys over here. If not, I'd be like covering the painting as I go. And we're gonna start off with some of the gold. Try to get it in camera for you. There we go. Is this gonna work? There we go, we'll zoom out a little bit. And I'm just adding a little bit of detail
All right, guys. So after all the detail work, I decided not to do the Pibio gilding um, on it. And I'm actually uh, thinking that it would probably overdo the piece. But I think this piece would be amazing resin. So I think that's what we are going to do. I don't know. And I love the splatters above. It's just so fun. Um, so tell me what you guys think. And uh, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, enjoy those premieres. Bye.